Oh my goodness me, you are gonna absolutely love today's podcast episode. If you're struggling with money right now, your money mindset, you know you could be making more money, but something's blocking you. Maybe you're scared to charge higher prices for your products or services. Maybe you're living from paycheck to paycheck and you want to break the pattern. This podcast episode today is specifically designed for women who want to reclaim their power, who want to feel abundant, feel wealthy, and really start living life on your terms. The money is flowing to you right now, and it's going to be coming to you in abundance and flows. And before we get into today's incredible episode with an incredible guest, I really need your help. And it's very rare (laughs) that I ask for help, but on this one, If the Mum to Millionaire podcast has ever helped you in any way, please consider donating to a brand new not-for-profit I am starting. There's a massive cover-up going on in the UK with children with additional needs, with children who are slightly a bit different, really being forced out of school, left abandoned and neglected. And every time I tell this story, I can't believe that this is happening. Like we're in the UK, we're supposed to be in an abundant land. And for this injustice to be happening to so many children, like as you're watching this video right now or listening to this podcast, there's kids right at home now while your kids may be at school. There's some children like my son that have been blocked from going into school. If you want to find out more what's going on, um, please go and read our story on the GoFundMe page. I'm setting up this kind of brand new alternative provision education that they can go and access. And so they don't feel isolated anymore. So they feel part of a community. They feel loved. You can go to the Mum to Millionaire website and there's the donate button there. So mum to millionaire.com. M-U-M-T-O millionaire.com. Click on the donate button and you'll be able to see what's going on. Morning. It as I'm saying this to you, like I've said, it's just unbelievable what is happening to these children. But if you can, um, please go and support a few pounds would really make such a difference in helping me to set up this not-for-profit for these incredible children who do not deserve this discrimination. Okay. Let's get into today's episode of the podcast. Mum to millionaire.com. Hello and welcome to the Mum to Millionaire podcast. We've got a brand new episode every single Thursday with an inspiring woman who is changing the world, causing an impact. And I want to bring these women on because it's, it's my hope that it empowers you to use your voice and really reclaim your power. And the, the lady we've got today, you are going to love her. Like this episode today, I think it's going to be one that you want to keep coming back to because we're going to talk all about wealth, abundance. Why do women struggle making money? Um, why do we feel scared sometimes to put ourselves out there? And really, what can we do about it? And I believe we've got no better person than our guest today. She's a mama free and a spiritual business strategist. Please welcome to the show, Marcia O'Regan. Woo, woo, woo. Hello everyone, it's great to be here. <laughs> I love Thank that entry there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what, you, I met you on an online conference and I think it was called Magical Creators, Magical Creators. That's right. And, um, when I saw you speak at that event, I was a speaker on there as well. And I was just in awe of you. The things you were saying were just really resonating with me. And I really was sat there thinking, why does no one else like know this? Or why is no one like kind of speaking in this way? And that kind of really opened me up more as well to the kind of more spiritual sense as well. And this whole thing of, you know, everything is energy. And I just think, you're going to really connect with a lot of women listening to this podcast today, especially mums. So before we kind of get into what we can do as women to start making more money and just having that abundance mindset, what exactly is it you do? Because I find this really just intriguing your whole kind of title. 
That is a million dollar question in itself. <laughs> because actually what I do um, is I really have this very, very strong divine connection with source. And my job and my ability, my innate ability is that I'm able to see the pureness and the potentiality, the infinite potentiality of the women in front of me that I work with. And I'm able to take away and remove all the things that are keeping them from seeing the power, their, like their divine right. And our number one divine right is to thrive, is to actually to be wealthy. So it's like, but the conditioning has been to, uh, that actually lack is the norm and it is not. So that's a big part of my work. And then the other part of my work really is to help women to do business in a divine feminine way in that div balanced divine feminine divine masculine so it's not about the pushing it's not about the making things happen it's not about being constantly in the mind what it is it's dropping down into the heart it's about following your intuition trusting that gut being brave knowing that failure does not exist it's a total illusion you're creating a result you're either learning or you've learned and you're kind of ascending into the next evolution of who you are so I'm kind of doing a whole way, new way, really. This is the new kind of template that I'm creating with women to create a new world, the world like we were promised, which is a heaven on earth. Oh, I love this. I, I love this so much. And even I wrote down, because I remember you saying this a few years ago as well, and I wrote it down and I still say that to myself. That quote you just said is my divine right to be wealthy whenever I have these kind of thoughts coming into my mind I'm like no <laughs> it's just my divine right to be wealthy and I want to also touch on what you said for people who have maybe never like read a, a, you know a self-development book or they're not aware of and I don't like using the world word alternative because this really shouldn't be alternative it should be the normal for everyone but we'll use that word in the sense of today's podcast but the kind of other side to life where you are more spiritual and you're connecting with yourself what does that mean to be connected to source right so I think where I'm going to go here is I'm going to go back to the history okay right so I'm going to go back to the history of I'm talking back in about um, 150 AD, the ancestors knew about this, about a, a source, a higher source, a higher power, whatever you want to call it. We all know that there's something, there's something that we can't maybe touch, explain, there, there is a source, there's something else that's, that's out, that's, outside of we'll say what we've been taught about the mind okay so what happened was the these these people they knew they knew that um that they that anything they wanted was in divine source it was like you know we are told ask and you will receive seek and you will find knock and the door shall be opened unto you okay so they knew that divine connection when it came to hunting for animals they spoke to the spirit of the animal and they asked the spirit of the animal and thanked the spirit of the animal before it was killed, before they ate the, the, the food. They honored life force, all of life's force. OK, now what happened was in 180 AD, there was this um, bishop who was called Bishop Lyons. He was a French bishop and he decided that actually um, he attacked, in fact, independent thinking. And this is a very, very important point here, because if we're seeing what's happening in the world uh, today, independent thinking is also being attacked. It's like, so, so there is amazing, you know, I think we can learn a lot from the history before we actually to have an understanding about what this is. So what happened then was the, uh, he wrote books, and he uh, started saying, this is the way. And the, the messaging, again, over time was, you are not powerful in your own right. You can't have this divine connection in your own right because you've got to go to the higher authority, which in this case was Christianity, 
which to be honest, I mean, I'm a Catholic per se myself. So it's like the Christianity destroyed the, the pure divine connection and power that each and every one of us has. Now, what happened then, it was saying, the power is within the authority, within the priest, within the bishop, within all those other religious mm. platforms is what I'm going to call them. They are not true. They, that is not true. What is true is that actually you are a miracle. Yes. Right? If you think about how, like if you think about the magic and the miracle of a human being's creation, Mm -hmm. The first thing before uh, that is created is actually the energy is created first and then it enters in to create into the ovary to create the life force. Why? Yeah. Right? And we don't see that. Mm. So it's like what we're having to do is we're having to claim our power back come back to the divine truth and the divine truth is that every single one of us have a very special and important purpose of being here on this planet at this time yes yes Marcy, and this is what the podcast is all about it's about reclaiming that power and it's so interesting and i didn't know thank you for sharing that i didn't know it goes back that far this whole thing of and i was thinking this the other day this you know this whole situation of my son being out of school and it's why are we scared of that authority within the school or within the government when actually, and like you just said, then it makes sense now. It's that we have been, and I'll use this word, we have been brainwashed that the power yeah. lies within those other people and authority when actually the power is within us. And that doesn't mean we have to be a nasty person. And it's no, it's just reclaiming <laughs> back what has always been us in the first place, you know? And I think a lot of women especially don't, realize that because we're always just working on the conscious well we get up we'll go to work or work on our business get the kids right and you're just going the same pattern over and over again without realizing the truth you know exactly exactly and i think also the the you know where you mentioned about going like we're on autopilot it's like you know this is how we do things around here but i'm like can you if you go back again to einstein let's go back to einstein i love that man if he like look what he had to go he was told that he was a mad you know she'd be locked up look at the stuff that he came about to prove and like it's like you know you've got to prove like even with women let's look at the power of the woman mm -hmm. right so the power of the woman if you've had children Okay, as an example, I'm not saying if you don't have children, you haven't got it, but it'll just show you. Mm. So I've had many instances, which I'm sure any woman listening to this will say that child is, is ill. And my husband would say to me, no, he's not. I said, I can tell you that child will be ill tomorrow. The child had no symptom, no, but I could sense I could feel the next day the child is ill. Right. Yeah. And he was like, "How do you? I was just like, I just know. I just know I can just sense how many times do you have someone when you're thinking of someone and that person thinks of you, like rings you or calls you? It's just like, oh, my God, oh, my God. And so the thing is, is that we've got to stop looking outside of us for everything and come back inside of us and trust and know that. That whatever happens, everything is working out for our highest good. Yes. And what it is, it's letting that, letting go. It's detachment, actually. Oh, yeah, it's I was just thinking that word in my mind. It's all about detachment, isn't it? It's total detachment. So it's like when it comes, if we also look again at the history of the woman, like why is the woman? First of all, I think we really have to recognize us as women, we feel each other right we sense what's going on for every single woman yeah right whether we realize it or not i'm getting goosebumps on my back now that makes me emotional 
And I'll tell you why, because there is an awful lot of women around the world that are not in a good place, that are being controlled, that are here. We had this huge um, situation here in Ireland about this woman, Ashling uh, Murphy, who a, was a, a 23 year old teacher who was running and got literally murdered for no reason mm -hmm. and attacked. And so a woman can't go for a run, for example, mm -hmm. without wondering, saying, am I safe? Right. So it's like that's only just one example. But as a history of women, women do not have the experience of managing and having money in their own right, because it was only about 60 years ago when a, an Irish woman could not have a bank account without the permission that the uh, of having of the man of a male figure, whether that's a brother or a father or a grandfather, giving her signing that she can have her own bank account. So we're talking like in the last hundred years, and that would have been the same in America, that a woman could not have her own bank account without the approval of, of a man. Wow. God, I feel like even crying. <laughs> you just don't realize. And it, I was even watching a documentary, you know, the boxer Nicola Adams the British yes. boxer. And I was watching, I am still mind blown by this and it ties into what you're just saying. Um, women couldn't box in the Olympics or even just box anywhere competitively. And I'm probably gonna get this, the figure wrong, but I think it was only like passed as law, something like 10 or 15, I think it's less than like 10 years ago. And I'm like, I just, I did not know that. And when I found that out, I was like, what the hell? Like, no wonder sometimes we feel like this as women sometimes because it's so present. Like, we're living history actually right now without us realizing. Um, and even that, what you said about the bank account, I just can't, I can't fathom that. Like, my probably great grandma wouldn't have had her own bank account. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And in America, only again, I think in the last 50 or 60 years, she she couldn't inherit. So if her partner, her husband died, she wouldn't get the inheritance. There was some clause in they've changed that now. But like like that's why when you think about like if you think about the histories, you know, the wars, it was the men went away and the women were there to manage everything. Yeah. Now, what we're going to say, though, is that was then. That's what we know now. Now we're going to use the power and on behalf of ourselves for all of our females that have gone before us but we're doing it for all of the females that are coming up that are in the future and we're also doing it for the men because I feel what's happened then with all of this that's kind of all coming to a head is that men actually have lot men now don't know because women now have changed an awful lot like they've got you know they're they have they can go and work they can have their own money they're you know they're not dependent on a man but then the man and some women also are acting like women which would be another part of my work like in business to say no like you can't do business like a man because a man can work 24 hours a day but a woman can't because she has her cycles because you know she's she's connected to the moon so it's all these other elements that we, we again have forgotten that I'm bringing back to remind you about the ancient wisdom of who you are as a woman. And so what we need to do here is, is that we need to meet ourselves where we are, where we're at. And then we need to know and claim that actually. I am a woman, I am a wealthy woman in my own right. So if you had that mantra, mantra, I am a wealthy woman in my own right now. Every single woman is capable of making money in her own right. Every single one. Without, without exception. Because in written in your um, DNA and in the essence and the magic of who you are, the divine, like the natural flow of universal energy is love and abundance. It's 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 just it's just what it is. It's life force, right? It's we can learn that from looking at nature. 
yeah. right? Mother nature for me is my best teacher, right? So now there are a couple of aspects that are really important for women to kind of understand about money. So first of all, anyway, money is an energy. Yeah. That's all it is. And what is that energy? That energy is love. Mm -hmm. It's love and appreciation. So when you have a service and you pay from that energy of love and appreciation, it multiplies tenfold. Yeah. Because yeah. money, the, the transformation that happens between two individuals when money is exchanged, when you remember the divine truth and the purity of the energy of money, it, the transaction creates the transformation that happens. Oh God, I just love, I, I love the way you explain this because I know for a fact, this will help women just that alone to understand that money is, is energy. And it's, oh, I just love what you just said. Repeat that last bit again. So it's the, say that bit again, the transformation. Well, the, 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 tra the transformation start, happens when the transaction is made. Mm. okay so the transformation is in the transaction now also the other thing is is that when someone says to me i don't have the money i don't believe them because not that's not true because money because it's an energy is an infinite source so there's there's always more money always always more money now the question is are you willing to do what it takes to generate the energy of money into your life because money because it's really linked to divine source it asks you to do to live in your fullest potential to show up in your fullest self to use all of your gifts to get out of your own way to move in to move mountains and so in a lot of cases it will get you to do the uncomfortable Yes. And actually yes. what women do on an unconscious level is they avoid discomfort. Mm. Yeah. I, and I've seen this a lot. I've met so many women who are so talented. All of them I've met so talented and I can see it. It's there. And I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, you know this, you know that. But then for that reason, what you were just talking about, they don't want to or can't or what I don't want to use the word don't want to. They probably do. But again, it goes back to that core root of what we've been talking about. They can't find it within them to put themselves out there, to get out their comfort zone, to just take that first step. And I always say to people, it is so uncomfortable. I don't know what I'm doing half the time, but I know I've got to do something to go forward. So just taking that small step. That small cool. step to go forward every day, it makes such a difference. We don't have to. And again, I think sometimes we can, and I use that word again, brainwashed with like, you got to get out there right now, Marcy. you got to make that a million pounds. <laughs> it's like, well, no, actually, we need to take that little step first to get to that point, isn't it? Yes. And you know what? It's all right for everyone. That, I mean, who says that? Like, you know, you know, none of us know anybody's story. And to be honest, every one of us at the, at the core, at the, if you strip away like the facade, we're all the same at the end of the day, right? We all want abundance. We all want love. We all want to be supported. We want to be part of a tribe that where we feel we're making a difference. And there are four, like I have really because this kind of came to me, this kind of vision came to me about money because I was like, what, you know, I, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't come from a wealthy family. You know, I wasn't necessarily amazing with money. I always had, and I was able to kind of, when I needed money, I was able to like to generate it, but I, I wouldn't have considered myself like an expert in money. So, but I was receiving a healing one day from this woman and I got this download and I said to her, go there, do this. Luckily I knew her very well. And I got this download about money. And this is where it came. It's just like money. And I created this course, um, which is a he healing your money story in seven days. And it's all linked to a couple of principles on money. So money goes to that which is grounded and steady. So you've got to be grounded. You've got to be present. You've got to say, I'm in, you know, I'm here 
and taking every one of us on this planet. You know, you can sense every human being on this planet and you can sense when someone leaves that planet. I remember when my grandmother died years and years and I was 14 and the night that she died, I remember coming out and I was going, oh my God, the world has missed the presence of my grandmother in the physical form because it felt so peaceful, wow. right? So it's like, this is why it's like, we are here. We've been gifted to be on this planet. And do you honestly think that you came here to be poor and suffering? Absolutely no way. Yeah. I mean, what kind of sense does that make? You're the creator. You have the power. And again, going back to the ancients, the ancients knew that the God was not a male. It was the female. Right? So that was also a change. So it's like, we are the creators. God, sorry, this is really weird. <laughs> I just feel like I went into a different timeline just then. I just feel like there was something just went in front of me. I thought, what was that? The light? Sorry, it's just a side I, note. I don't know what happened I know, there. I know. I think I was so focused on what you were saying. I was like, how long have I been here for? <laughs> but this, 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 yeah, that was, um, but this is so, this is such an important message for mm -hmm. all women to and I and I said it right at the beginning because I just knew with Marcia coming on here please listen to this podcast over and over again because you need to get the what is what everything that Marcia has been saying is like it has to go into your subconscious you've got yeah. to build this in you you can't just and I think again I want to talk about this actually because a lot of people if they're in a really bad place inside they might think I can just sit there and go I am going to be a millionaire. I am a millionaire and it's going to change everything, but it takes a lot more than that, doesn't it? It's like the whole law of vibration. It's not just the law of attraction. It's actually feeling it as well. And part of that is you've got to keep programming your mind with this stuff because we've been programmed to feel in a certain way that the women predominantly stay at home still. The women are always going to be looking <laughs> after the kids. The women... And it's all like this isn't a lie, like we're living this, <laughs> like it's there. Yeah. So we have to going back to that message right at the beginning, isn't it? Reclaim our power back because it never went yeah. anywhere, it's, it's, here. <laughs> it's, it's here, right? And so, the way to truly thrive, then it's going inward, you've yeah. got to connect with your soul, strengthen your divine connection, and really. And I think the other important thing that's uh, for women is to say that I'm worthy. There's an awful lot of women have imposter syndrome. Like, who do you think you are? Like, who am I? You know, I'm not enough. All these kinds of stuff. And it's like, that was also one of the other things. So it's grounding, self-worth, confidence, uh, receiving. Very, very. If you can't receive, you can't have money. And right. what, do you, what do you mean by that? Does that mean kind of being grateful for when someone is giving something to us rather than, again, a typical thing would be like, oh, Vina, I, I want to buy you a meal. So I'll be, oh, no, 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 no. It's okay. Sure. No, don't worry. We'll go halves. Or is, is that what you mean by that? That's what I mean. Yes. I mean that. And I also feel like um, on an unconscious level, there's a big difference between receive and unconditionally receiving. So on, on an unconscious level, women in the psyche, because, you know, we have the psyche of the woman that is in all of us, that's connecting all of us. So we have all the memories of the female field of consciousness that has, you know, through all lifetimes. Now, our job actually here in 2022 is to really heal that. So we create a whole new field of consciousness of the truth the divine truth of what it means to be a woman right to do that then we have to heal out like when a woman heals she she heals on behalf of every woman because every woman will benefit now the thing is is that when a woman like if you think about the receiving part women that received there was trauma you know there was like 
if you think even about the sexual act of like when you're having sex, it's the woman that receives, right? But that, you know, there's abuse, like there is, there's abuse, trauma, memories in there, or, or, you know, there's also the pleasure, but all we have, we can't, I think we have to stop underestimating these kind of things because they influence, everything has an influence on everything. So we've got to first of all say, I want a different world. I want a different life. I'm going to start with me. Because it's got to start with you first. Yeah. It doesn't start with anybody else because you've got to do for yourself first. And when you do for yourself first, then you do for and you give the gift, then you do for others what you've done for yourself. That is how it works. So yeah. it's like, okay, Yes, and by uh, default, you're also, if, if another woman can see you doing something about yourself, they're going to be like, oh, hold on for a second. She's, and it automatically, I think, reflects on that woman. And they're like, oh my God, like she done it. I can do it. So you're not only helping yourself, you're actually helping so many other people without even knowing in the first place. Yes. We're here to inspire and inspire is like in spirit, right? So it's like, now we've got to say, okay, you know what? It's going back to understanding, like what, what is your beliefs around money? And what is your beliefs around people that have money and people that haven't money? So I'm even seeing particularly, because I lived in Belgium for 14 years, I lived in London for 14 years. I'm back here in Ireland and I'm seeing, oh my God, the, like the Irish are desperate for for not receiving money like trying to pay the guy to you know that has done my car it's like yeah don't worry about it You're, I'm like I'm go I want to pay you you know it's just like just take the money you know <laughs> take the money or um you know they're like even on the radio they're saying oh it's the end of the month now you know you're watching your pennies I was like no I never I've never I was like my god Never realize that reality. So we've got to be say, we've got we've got to really be mindful about our the psyche, about the cultures we're in, about the expectations, and say, hold on a minute. I am a sovereign being. Okay. My natural state of being is to thrive. And now you've got to claim it. So I have this uh, you know, kind of mantra that I say um, every I mean, I would say it at least three times a day. And it's very much part of in this divinely prosperous community where I'm saying to them, if things are not working out in your life, say this as often as you can. And it's like, I am the only master of my being, my energy and my life. I am free and I'm pure love. And that brings you straight into your heart because that's who you are. You are a heart and a soul and your natural state of being is to thrive, is to be wealthy and to also know that you can't create anything from lack. Nothing is created from lack. Wow. You can only create from the energy of abundance, the energy of thriving. That's why you'll hear, oh, you know, look at this person is like, you know, they got the break and then it just opened up the floodgates because that's the only place that you can create from is actually abundance, which is what you are already. And you can look around and ask someone else to do it, but nobody can do it for you, only yourself. Yeah. And if you're like me and you're, you're listening to Marcia and you're like, oh my God, wait, what did she say? I'm actually going to clip that up and put it on the mum to millionaire instagram as an instagram reel so you can oh, all yeah. go and <laughs> go and save it and save it onto your phone and just play that over and over again to yourself because i think things like that are so important and it can, what would you say as well like if again if someone's listening to this and they're like mate i've got some big like money blocks here what is a really kind of good first exercise to do and I think maybe you alluded it to, to it before as well is it like the fact of maybe just writing down what are your current beliefs about money is that a good way to just start and become aware actually what are we thinking on a daily basis about money 
Yeah. What's my relationship with money? How do I feel about money? If you think about money as a person, what are you saying about that person? How do you feel about that person? And you will see from there where like, what have I, what do I believe about money? How comfortable am I with money? And also then you're going to ask, is this true for me? Because a lot of the stuff that we're telling ourselves, it's not true for us. It was, we learned it from hearing it. We learned it from role modeling. We learned, you know, we picked it up. But you can actually say, is this true for me? And if it's not true for you, what is true for you? Because you can change. That's the great thing. We can all change our relationship with money. So, and then to know that money is very loyal. Very loyal. There's great loyalty in money. So it's like, oh my God, you know, no matter what you felt, no matter what you believed about money, money generally, you know, you have a roof over your head and you have food on the table, you've clothes on your back. Money has been loyal. It's still showing up. It's saying, I'm still showing up in your life in whatever form. Let me in. Let me have more. And then you've got to ask. It's like, and none of this permission. It's like now we're getting to the, to the point of actually it's commanding. I now command and declare that you, uh, you know, divine source of the highest consciousness, to please give me the money in exchange of me really stepping into my soul work. I'm ready, I'm available, show me the next step. Because always you're only shown the next step. You are, if you're going to be waiting for the plan, for all the, you, you can be waiting all you like. You can, you can wait forever. <laughs> you can wait. Because it doesn't work like that. And that's and even if you look at this from a whole logical point of view, all you need is the next step anyway. You don't need the tenth step. You just need the next step to get you to yeah. the second, the third, the fourth, yeah. and to get to that that plan yeah. at the end. Um, mm. Oh god, there's so much. And even what you were talking about then is all about that concept again of ref reframing our beliefs around certain areas, and especially today in this case of money. And um, I. The, well, I'm going right back now, but I really think this is important. I made a mental note because I don't think enough women talk about this. When we're on our period, I do not feel like going to run a million dollar business. <laughs> when I, do, I just feel like being in flow. I feel like being at home and reading. Now, can you touch on this for us? Because I don't feel enough people actually, we don't talk about this as women. And it's the reality. I feel a bit crappy on my period days. Now, it, weirdly, it's actually, I don't feel that bad if I could use that word it's more just like oh I just feel like I just want to chill today and just do some reading um but can you talk to us ab about that like that whole yeah. cycle as well and is, is that you know when we do have our period is that more of the days of rest or is yes, that in ancient times, again, like the ancient tribes, you know, particularly, you know, a, a lot of like back in, you know, the aboriginals and the, the you know, the African, um, you know, women knew this. So what they did back then was when a woman had her period, she was placed inside in a room and was resting and was meditating and was connecting and was like she was not doing. Right. Because, in fact, when you are, you know, bleeding, you are releasing, you are cleansing, you are, you are, you really are, you know, making, you know, just letting it go, like really allowing the, yourself, like, and also, uh, like blood is richness, you know, like there's richness in the blood, there's vitamins and minerals, there's iron in the, you know, there's life force in the blood, like if we don't have blood in our bodies, we die. So we've got to also think about that. So it's like what we have to realize as women that 
in fact, I have found myself, it's in the not doing is when abundance comes. Right? So, and then after that, you take the action. So this is the aligned action. So I would talk about that a lot. It's like, there's no point in taking action for the sake of action, because that doesn't work. Because if it did work, you would have been a millionaire 50 million times over. <laughs> what works for each individual as well, because I think that's annoying for some women. They, 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 they say to me like, you know, tell me, tell me how to do it and I'll do it. And I said, no, I will not do that because my job is to have you discover your unique flow, your unique way of working, your unique way of creating abundance. My job is to get you out of the, the, the thinking and the making things happen. And so what's very important in the cycle of life, and if we even look at the moon and the cycle of the moon, it's like, and the seasons, you know, there's always winter, right? There is always, and when, uh, thank God, after winter, what comes is spring. After spring comes summer. After summer comes autumn. And it's the same for us as women. It's like we have this fertile period in our cycles whereby it's magical. It's like miracles can happen. It's like, but you have rested beforehand. So I think women have to realize that actually, like I would say as well, you know, what I would do a lot, even if I'm having a discovery call with someone to see if I am a match to work with them, I will always before the call, I will lean back and I will lean into my own body and my own energy and I will create space for that person and for me to really have an open, non-attached discussion and you know conversation and you know you know an experience it's an experience and it's like it's the same with what you desire it's like if you're feeling in and trusting our bodies reading our bodies like how does my body feel today so I have my period I actually don't feel like doing anything so instead of making peace to say great this is an opportunity for me to surrender to hand this over to the divine. I am going to raise my vibration, do all the things that I'd love to do, read that book, have that cup of tea, go for that walk, whatever it is, because in a few days time, you're not going to have time for that because you're going to have your energy back and you're in the doing. So there's a time and a place for everything. Oh God, I love it. And, 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 a, and a weird kind of way, it's kind of like a business strategy as well, working with your period, because so many people are like, I don't have time to do this. I don't have time to plan. But I'm like, no, you do. <laughs> You do, but that's a perfect opportunity. Again, if you're on, and if I know it may be easier for people that are self-employed, but if you are running a business, take those few days where you can just, like Marcia said, it's like surrender, the planning stage, the relaxing stage. Then in a few days, you'll be like, oh my God, I'm ready to go. I'm going to make that call. I'm going to send that email. I'm going to have that meeting. And you'll be so, I think that is a great way and every month, you know what, what's coming and what you can do. And you're just working with your body then, aren't you? Rather than working against it. Yeah, and it's all about vibration. At the end of the day, everything comes down to energy. You can do whatever you like, but if you're not in the right energetic space, you're literally wasting your time. You may, it's like having, you know, no, no fuel in, in the tank of petrol, in, in the tank of your car. It's like no matter how many times you turn on that engine and if there isn't fuel in that engine, that, that car ain't going anywhere. And it's the same for us. It's just like at the end of the day, particularly for women, your source of everything is energy. It's divine source. And if you have that grounded so that feeling, you know, that, that, that connect, like, what is it? It's like you have this feeling of connection, that you feel connected, that you feel that actually everything is working out because at the end of the day, it all works out in the end. So what are you worrying about? It's like it will, it will, the pain will end as quick 
quicker for you if you stop forcing controlling like we have to learn to surrender and let go like i was even even myself i'll give you like a personal example so i was saying to you earlier on vina that so we moved back to ireland we bought this land it took us a year and a half to you know buy that land we have that land and now we've discovered that we um we can't build the house that we had designed because the budget is about 40 percent over with, with everything going on with COVID and brexit and stuff so i was initially devastated i was like oh my god so i went down to the beach and i thought everything has a flip coin so i'm letting go of the dream and the problems associated with that and the relief and the release that and then after that literally maybe three days later there was a guy who I'd reached out weeks previously and he hadn't come back to me who actually is a guy that's recommended that's going to say actually we can really look at the design of this house and we can see how we can make this work. so solutions haven't got all of I'm getting the steps haven't got all the plan yet but I'm like solutions are popping in are dropping in for me and instead of me pushing and being impatient and getting a, a edgy, I'm like, OK, at the end of the day, you can only deal with one thing at a time. So I'm like, OK, interesting. I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to see what magic and potion that's got. And then I'm waiting for the next thing. So patience is also important and faith. Oh, God, yeah. I've learned this recently a lot because I think I'm quite a naturally impatient <laughs> person but through the whole process of different things that have gone on these challenges and lessons I should call them it's um it is that Vina it's all right just be patient because when you're pay and I think this is such a good summary of everything it's like be patient trust in the process everything is working out for your highest good detach yourself and let go like everything is going to be okay Really and let it in let it in because what I find with women is they would say to me uh again it's just like the stories what stories are you telling yourself how true are those stories you know so I, they'd be saying well it's not happening and I'd say hold on a minute didn't you did you check that whatever it would be and they were like oh my god I'd forgotten about that and I said yeah do you know what's happened there the the postman has come and delivered the package but you haven't opened the door so it can come but if you're not letting it in, you can't have it because you have to be the one to open your hands and say, I receive. Oh, and that look how interesting that is. I have my whole list of the summary and I eat, look, I missed out. <laughs> receive. <laughs> look, at, yeah. look at that. Very interesting. Yeah. Let it in and receive. Do you know what, Marcia, I could talk to you all day. Like, no, no joke. I could just be like, yeah, let's keep talking. But I think this has been, and we're definitely going to get you on the podcast again, because I think this episode in itself is just full of so much wisdom and value that I, again, I'm going to say this for the third time, listen to this on repeat and I'm going to chop it up and put lots of um Instagram reels Instagram oh. stories so go over to the mum to millionaire Instagram page just search for mum to millionaire on Instagram and also where can we find you Marcia and how can we connect with your beautiful radiant soul so it's uh, on Instagram it's Marcia M-A-R-C-I-A underscore O-R-E-G-A-N and that's O-R-E-G-A-N so that's on Instagram and then I have glowyourtruecolors.com um, but to be, on to be honest the best way I think that might really be useful for people is to understand who am I in a soul level because if you're saying that like you're that you, you know, that you're not very good at leading, that you're not worthy of success, and you discover that you are a red soul color personality, then you can stop lying to yourself. So I can give you access to a free reading, which is uh, gloryourtruecolors.com forward slash numerology. And that would be a great place for you to start to say, who am I? Right? Because then you'll understand more about the soul that you are. And uh, also I have a Facebook page, uh, Glow Your True Colours as well. 
Oh, brilliant. Please make sure you go and connect with Marcia. And if you, like I said, you want a recap of this, the kind of the main points, you want to see Marcia's beautiful face, um, make sure you head over to mumtomillionaire.com and everything Marcia just said, all her links will be over on the blog post as well. Thank you so much. I cannot thank you enough, Marcia, for your time today. This has been incredible. If you're not subscribed to the Mum to Millionaire podcast yet, make sure you do on YouTube. YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, a brand new episode every single Thursday. And do you know what? Use all of this advice that Marcia has gave you today. Take action. Let it in. Not gonna, not gonna miss that. Let it in. Receive. And um, we'll see you on the next episode to make sure you've got all the steps now to go and reclaim your power. Mum to millionaire.com. Hey again, it's me. I just wanted to say for the fourth time now, listen to this episode, have it on repeat, save it on your phone, put it in your favorites on YouTube. Keep coming back uh, to this episode, mumtomillionaire.com. That's the name of the website you need. Bookmark that website so you can see every single Thursday, a brand new episode. And I'm going to put this into practice right now. And I am open and I'm willing to receive. And I really would love your help in setting up this not-for-profit. Please go to mumtomillionaire.com, click on the donate button and read what is going on to thousands of children in the UK right now. They're being discriminated against. There's a massive injustice and there's so many people in authority. We talked about authority today, didn't we? So many people in authority know what's going on to these children and they are not doing anything to help them. So do you know what? I'm going to help them to reclaim their power and they are going to turn into the most happiest, healthiest children. If other adults don't want to help them, then I'm going to create my whole team and crew, hopefully with the help of you. Um, so we can just show them that if you, if you just believe in yourself and take control and do you know what, all this stuff we said in today's episode, really anything is possible. It is our divine right to be wealthy. Thank you, Marcia, for all your wisdom today. And like I said, please go and read our story, mumtomillionaire.com and click on the donate button. And I'll see you in the next episode. Love you. Bye.